Welcome to Marnie's Storytime. Hello and welcome to Marnie's Storytime. Today I've already picked a book. This one is called Elizabeth. And Elizabeth, she has a bit of a cheeky smile there. Let's see what Elizabeth has to say today. And this story has been written by Sally Farrell Odgar and the illustrations are by Melissa Webb. So let's see what Elizabeth gets up to in today's story. Mum was decorating walls. She'd brought the paint in town. She put the paintbrush on a shelf. Elizabeth got it down. She dabbled on a bit of paint and thought it looked so great. She painted the piano as brightly as she could. Uh -oh. What can we do? What can we do about Elizabeth? What would you do? What could you do? The piano is in a mess. Head and footprints all over the piano. Dad was planting lettuces and went to have a spell. Elizabeth came out to play and thought she'd dig as well. She got the spade and dug a hole and dug a little more. When Dad came out to look for her, he couldn't get through the door. What can we do? What can we do about Elizabeth? What would you do? What could you do? The garden is in a mess. Pa had brought some lemonade. In case of sudden thirst, he put it in the fridge to cool. Elizabeth got there first. She shook the bottle thoroughly to make it fizz and bubble. And then she tried to pour some out. Oh, she got into trouble. What can we do? What can we do about Elizabeth? What would you do? What could you do? The kitchen is such a mess. Nanny filled the puppy's bowl and put it on the floor. Then off she went to play some golf. Elizabeth fed it some more. The pup was very grateful and ate it as quick as quick. Nanny wondered why the puppy looked very fat and sick. What can we do? What can we do about Elizabeth? What would you do? What could you do? The puppy is in a mess. Little baby Thomas was resting in the sun. Elizabeth thought he must be bored and took him for a run. Down the street she pushed the pram. Across the cricket pitch a flying wicket made her duck and the pram went in the ditch. What can we do? What can we do about Elizabeth? What would you do? What could you do? The baby's in a mess. <laughs> Not a very happy baby. The tabby cat had climbed a tree and then began to meow. It wasn't really standard, but Elizabeth climbed up to. Uncle Andrew rescued them and then got completely stuck. Elizabeth and the cat were down, and her uncle, no such luck. What can we do? What can we do about Elizabeth? What would you do? What could you do? Her uncle's in a mess. Little K 
cousin Angelique was taken to the zoo. It was to be a birthday treat. Elizabeth went too. Climb the fence, Elizabeth said, and take a closer peek. At Kong the new gorilla, down tumbled Angelique. Oh dear, this is not good. What can we do? What can we do about Elizabeth? What would you do? What could you do? Her cousin's in quite a mess. Aunt Sarah dropped her wedding ring. It rolled into a crack. We all stood around and wondered, would we ever get it back? A magnet? No, that wouldn't work. We shook our heads in doubt. And while the grown-ups thought and talked, Elizabeth got it out. What can we do? What can we do for dear Elizabeth? What would you do? What could you do? She's mostly a pest. <laughs> oh dear, she's a girl that always gets herself into trouble. But in the end, sometimes, she obviously gets it right. <laughs> Maybe you have a friend like that. Just be careful that she doesn't get you into too much trouble. But always remember, there's something nice about them underneath and it's just their character or their personality. So they always make very good, interesting friends. <laughs> that's Elizabeth and that's today's story from Marnie's Storytime. Bye for now. That was a great story we chose today. And if you want to hear it again, just press the replay button. And don't forget, to meet me here next time for another classic adventure into the land of stories. Press subscribe and the bell icon for notifications so you can see new stories when they get posted and see my channel with its playlist of stories for you to choose from in Marnie's library. Press the thumbs up or the like button if you like the story today and comment if you want to and I will reply when I can and we'll talk about our story.